Hi guys, welcome to the energy update for Thursday, January 11th, 2024. It's been a really weird week leading up to this day. Capricorn new moon um, is this morning, like real early in the morning. And um, yeah, just the energy has been really weird. And we talked about how like the energy leading up to this Capricorn new moon was clearing out space because this Capricorn new moon is bringing in a lot of abundance and it's bringing in a lot of new opportunities. And uh, we're really shifting from this Capricorn energy. And this is that they call it the bending. <laughs> This is what we call the bending because we're right in the middle of the North Node and South Node transit. We're right in the middle of the Aries and the Libra transit with this Capricorn new moon here. And so um, uh, yeah, there's just, there's this, it's kind of a, an initiation sort of in a way with um, with the square to the nodes and, and new beginnings. And I think that some people are also recognizing how things sort of have to like fall away also for other new beginnings to happen. I always remind people that endings have to happen for new beginnings to happen. Um, and I mean, you can pile on new beginnings on top of the stuff that you're already doing, but like, I mean, how confusing, how, like, that would just be claustrophobic to me. Like, how can you, like, pile one relationship on top of another? Oh, that just sounds claustrophobic. Space. There's all the space that needs to be made. Um, and we have a lot of energy with this Capricorn new moon. So, and this is happening early in the morning. Go watch the Capricorn new moon video if you want to get really detailed into that. Um, we will have the moon will sextile. Um, Neptune a little bit later on in the afternoon and then we'll conjoin Pluto before that ingress to Aquarius we see the moon over here conjoining Pluto this is later in the afternoon um, so and you know um, yesterday's Sagittarius moon that was void all day long. And then today's Capricorn, you know, um, or not yesterday's, but yesterday's Capricorn moon that was a little bit edgy. And then the day before with the Sagittarius moon that was void all day long. That's what I meant to say. Um, and then coming to this, you know, this Capricorn new moon, it may not feel necessarily like <clears throat> joyful and exuberant and like all of those things. Um, we also have Venus trying Chiron um, as well happening uh, earlier in the day. Venus will try and Chiron exact. Um, but yeah, so not it's this is one of those days where we're working on healing ourselves and we're working on, you know, starting new things and starting over. There's kind of a fear, I feel like a little bit behind, you know, this Capricorn new moon as well. And I think that might have a lot to do with the newness and kind of like for some people, this is, you know, you're really starting something that um, it's scary, right? Starting new things sometimes can be really, really scary. Doing new things sometimes can be really, really scary. Um, on Sunday, coming up this Sunday, I have decided for the first time, I've never done this before in the whole seven years that I have been providing readings for people. I have never done the astrology for the entire year for the public. I've always gone through and like, and, and you know, I'll talk about it more on Sunday, but I'm doing a live on YouTube on Sunday. We're going to talk about the astrology for 2024 and what it's going to look like and some of the big things that are going to be happening this year. Um, and, you know, I know other astrologers have done this too. I, I, I just have my own little approach that I have to life. So should be kind of interesting, but this, this is my new thing. Like I was telling you guys, you know, I, um, this is my new thing that I'm starting as Pluto moves from my fourth house into my fifth house, um, this month. So, which is just coming up in, wow, about nine days, we're going to have 
Pluto. The first day of Aquarius season, we'll have Pluto ingressing Aquarius as well. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in the coming week. So let's take a look at what kind, let's see what the Oracle, the Sacred Traveler Oracle has to say for this Capricorn new moon. And Thursday, January 11th, we've got a couple cards that came out. Impasse and Desert Passage. So impasse, reflect and redirect your energy. Been feeling that as well, too, in really big ways. And then the Desert Passage, trust there's a divine plan. Like if you're feeling like you're not really sure what direction you're supposed to be going in, if you're feeling a little bit confused, if you're feeling like I'm not, you know, I have no idea what's coming up next for me, that kind of thing. There's also the ability to just sit still and to let the energy come to you and let the answers come to you and let the things happen to you. Um, even if answers aren't coming to you and you feel like it's just sort of this dry space of like nothing is happening and, you know, everything sort of just feels like it's just kind of stuck <laughs> and in the desert and like going nowhere. Um, first you may want to just sit still and just be like, okay, I'm just going to be patient. Maybe I just need to be like paying attention to something else. And the other thing, the reflect and redirect your energy. You know, if it's given you some tension or you keep coming up against a brick wall, maybe it's time to try something new. Maybe it's time to try something different. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I think, you know, we grow up and we've grown up in a really patriarchal society saying that we have to stick to one thing. We have to stick to one idea. We have to go with that. But if that idea isn't working for us and we've been, we've tried every single thing that we need to do, it's time to redirect our energy. Don't kill yourself. And that includes relationships and jobs and, you know, any experience that you feel like is kind of holding you back from yourself. So I love you guys. I hope you have a really wonderful Thursday. Happy Capricorn new moon. Take really good care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye.